The digital painting in Procreate is is a lot of fun, I have to say. It's it's pretty cool because if you've ever done traditional art, and like I have, I have used just about every brush and uh, medium out there to create drawings and paintings. And so, you know, in my studio here, I have everything from acrylics to oils to water mixable oils to inks, uh, fluid acrylics, uh, and all the different mediums that go with that, and then different brushes, oil painting, acrylic, long handle, short handle. You know, I've got a ton of pens, quills, brush pens, markers, you know, whiteout, opaque ink. And all of that just really makes, it can make for a pretty, pretty uh, busy or full studio of tools that quite honestly, I find myself, I have way more tools and, and brushes in it than I actually use. Um, but that's a conversation for for her for another time but in procreate we have everything in one little brush library and with the standard brushes that you get with with procreate yeah there's there's quite a bit there um, you obviously can add brushes you can purchase them from third parties online websites and download them and use them and that's pretty cool too but for the most part i have found that when i'm let's say sketching picking a brush that works that has just the right feel for me i find that i just tend to use that brush constantly like i will I'll rarely deviate that deviate from that brush just simply because for me it just has everything that i need so in this case i've got a pencil brush that i really like and for the most part i'm just going to stick with this pencil as I do my sketches or my full-on drawings just simply because I, I don't want to have to switch back and forth between using different brushes um, for my drawings. Uh, I find that I can you know use pick and find one particular brush that I that's gonna be my go-to. So for drawing I have my favorite pencil of course I'm using it right now, just making some random marks. When it comes to painting, um, I have the uh, I have a brush that I really like using. I'll just pick that here. And, uh, let me just we'll hide that, create a new layer, and you can see the kind of brush that I like using for my style, my, my painting style. And this is just unique to everybody. You know, everyone has their own preference for what they're what they're trying to achieve when they paint and draw. And I just really love this brush that I'm using here. Uh, it's a third party brush that I picked up. And, uh, you know, I try to stay with, for the most part, the one brush throughout the initial painting and through most of the bulk of the heavy painting when I'm working uh, on whatever it is I'm doing, you know, on my, uh, whatever I have on the on the art canvas at, at, the, at that time. And I find that that just keeps things simpler for me. I find that it uh, speeds up my workflow, especially if I'm not trying to change brushes, uh, unless there's a reason to change brushes. I'll just stick with the one brush as long as I can, you know, throughout whatever the piece it is that I'm, I'm, I'm creating. I'm not really creating much here, but I'm just kind of showing you how my, how my brush works and how my style is just dependent on just really just using one brush. I mean, as, as much as, as many brushes are there are available in these digital painting programs, and, and that's great. It is more efficient for me to just stick to using the one brush. That way my workflow just is simplified. I'm not have to switching, I don't have to switch back and forth too much. Now, if I'm refining a painting and I find that I need different textures, and more toward the end, then I will use other brushes. You know, I'll use some of these different brushes here, depending on what the ultimate, you know, final texture or what the final message is in the painting. If I need to create something that is, you know, super soft, you know, and I'll just take this airbrush and this has a really soft, soft, soft edge. You know, that's different than the one I was just using to draw this, right? So pick your brush in Procreate 
pick one that you like for what you're doing and I say you stick with that one brush pretty much throughout the beginning of the painting all the way through developing it kind of figuring out you know your forms and shapes and then for me personally toward the end of the painting as I'm starting to refine it then I'm going to start looking at different brush types to give me different textures for whatever it is I'm doing within that painting. And that's how I approach uh, using brushes in Procreate.